Welcome everyone. Uh, today we're gonna be tying a big jerk. So what do I call it? It's just a play on a bait fish pattern that uh, that I have a tremendous amount of luck with, um, particularly for pike uh, and, and for bass, of course, too. Uh, the hook that I'm using today is a gamakatsu. They're stinger hooks. Uh, the B B10S. I mean, it's just I don't know. I I love it for for bait fish patterns. Um, so to start, you're gonna come in right at about the point of the hook there, uh, and I'm going to tie in some some purple flash here, some purple flash abu. I just like it. I have, eventually we'll get to the dubbing part, but I take about, I don't know, a, a heavy amount, you know, 10 strands, something like that. Five to 10 strands. So this will determine how long your bait fish is going to be. Uh, if you, I typically like it in that four inch range, somewhere in that four to six inch range. So here for this one, um, I'm gonna put it about at the four inch range. It also is dependent on your material that you're using. T today, we'll be using this craft fur and the fibers are only, you know, five, five inches long at max, four inches long at max. So we're, we're limited on what, how far we can go back. Um, okay, so that's in there pretty good. Um, most of the body for this one is going to be this extra select craft fur in all white. I like the, the this this stuff. Uh, it floats great, has good movement, you know, uh, floats through the water well. Um, so what it's going to do is we're basically just going to take repetitive clumps of it. Um, about this big, nothing about that big, and we're going to alternate top, bottom, top, bottom. So I'm going to speed this section up, there's nothing special to it. I'm going to speed it up for you guys, but the first one is the most important one. You just want it to be about even with the back end of your flash. So just about even uh, with the back end of that. So I'm gonna speed this up for you guys so you guys don't have to sit through this and watch. Alright, at this point I like to add in a little more of the same flash just to make sort of a parallel line looking type deal. Um, you can use the original ones that you snipped. I typically don't like to use as many, I'll only use three or four. I just think that um, it can get overwhelming um, if you use the you know five or ten that you use to start. Um, so I like to tie it in, again, about at the same length as the body. So go all the way to the tail. Um, make sure it's nice and even. And again, it, you know, it depends if you want to use more than three or five or six or seven or whatever, but um, this is just what I do and what I've found that works, 
works very very well in the spring for pike particularly so if you're looking for a good spring pike fly this is definitely definitely a killer um, you can also add weight to this pattern if you want to get it to ride a little deeper in the column I usually fish it with intermediate sinking line um, I rarely fish it with floating line so that it sits down in the column a little bit but okay so now um, I like to clean up the head just a little bit get any everything cleaned up so now we have our body shape and our parallel line there going down the back um, now we're gonna build up our head this is a chance if you want to put a little blood dot or something into the uh, something that's going to come through uh, in the head region you can do that right now sometimes I'll use a sharpie other times I'll use something like this um, some gloss but for this one I'm not going to do anything so uh, uh, I'm using ice dub uh, minnow belly it's got sort of a purple bluish tint to it kind of like the flash I like to match whatever I'm using for the flash I like to match it for the head there's other pearl dub you know so if you want to go more silvery that one's a good one for silver but um, so what is important for this is that your fibers are aligned so I just grab a, a clump and you need to comb it out it will make for such a better head before you put it on it will make for such a better looking head so I just give it a brief couple couple combs with the comb and then just take the clump put it right on top about half and half cinch it down and you're gonna do the same thing on the on the underside with the clump about the same try your best Okay, you should get something that looks like that. And then just pull it back. Pull back that, all those fibers. And move forward. So you should have something that looks sort of like that. And then we're going to do the same exact thing. Now this one's all white. Obviously you can use, you know, different colors. There's other color patterns out there that people like and you know this works great for pike and bass but it also works pretty well for stripers any saltwater species I mean I've never tried it out on any sort of you know snook or anything like that but I imagine you know it looks very fishy so anyways this will be your last one you're just going to do two same thing I've combed it through and just half and half right on top the first one and then do the same on the underside So you should get something like that and then just do the same thing, separate it out, pull it back. You want to get it very close to the eye, as close to the eye as possible. Um, it is important though, one thing that to remember is to make sure that it's even on top. So that it's even on top. If it's off to the left or the right, while you're pulling it through the water, it might not cause it to swim right. Um, so you want to make sure that it is directly in line with your hook. The bulk weight of it is directly in line with your hook. So then just pull it back and uh, just build up a little base just to keep it back. And that's, that's all the materials that you're going to add. So you can whip finish, um, tie it off, whatever way. Tied off, um, 
and I'm going to brush it out again. So I brush it out once more, I just take a comb and just go through and brush it out, getting any loose fibers that might be around. So here, I'll speed this up for you guys, but and you'll s there we go. You'll see, uh, you get quite a few fibers in there that are loose, so. But now they look nice and straight, everything looks pretty good. Um, you can pull it back and sort of see what we got going on here. Um, so, right now it doesn't look ha too half bad, it looks pretty decent. Um, we are going to add eyes now to this one. Um, I am a big fan of the living eyes. I'm going to use ice. Um, I just like the way they look. Um, you, this will determine sort of the how big your body is, uh, or how big your body you want to be. Is how if you pull back your fibers and put your eyes on right now, it will keep it like that. And if you don't do it, if you just place them like this, you can have it like that. So. I typically like a little slender body, a little more slender than the big poof. Um, it's It just swims a little better when it's not as bulky, it swims a little better. You can also just toss some UV on there too. Um, toss some UV around the head. I won't, I won't do that today because I don't, I don't like to do it for this pattern, but obviously you can. Um, Neat little trick, if you're having trouble with eyes, just stick them on your hand like that, and you'll never lose them, like I frequently lose them. Um, okay, my, usually, I would use Zap-A-Gap to put on the eyes, but uh, someone or some animal took my Zap-A-Gap from, from my tying desk, and uh, it's no longer, so. I'm using super glue today, but all you're gonna do is just drop a little drop. And I'm holding the material back. And I'm just gonna place that eye right on there, just hold it down for a second. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Make sure your eyes are facing the same way. They have a little edge that you can see. And those are pretty decent. Okay, just let that sit and let it soak in a little bit. Just let it soak in a little bit. Comb that out a little more. Okay, so here is our end result and it's uh you know, it's nothing fancy. These are very easy to tie, very quick. You can bang a lot of them out very, very quickly. And uh, once this dries, I'm gonna go wet it and then put it back in the vise so you guys can see what it looks like wet compared to dry. It is pretty drastic change. The synthetic really lays down into a bait fish pattern. So once this dries, I'm gonna go and put it in the vise and then uh, I will post a picture or continue this video actually is probably what I'll just do so that you guys can see that all right all right so I just gave this a uh, I just gave it a little rinse underneath the water and this is what it comes out to be like just make sure so as you can see it's much more bait fishy it's got that lateral line that you can see there um, and uh, yeah it just has a really good looking bait fish profile you know um, I really enjoy it here you can see it's still even after getting it wet you know it still maintains some bulkness here um, that pushes a lot of water around and 
has really, really good action. Um, the, the head, what's important is that it's nice and straight because it will swim nice and straight if, it's, if the eyes are and the head is all shaped straight. So um, that's the, the, the big jerk and uh, thanks for watching.